Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 12, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In Level 12, we're going to continue working with our Universal Dialog Box that we started a few lessons ago. We're going to learn about custom form positioning, where we can control exactly where on the screen our form appears at the position and size we want to. And we're going to learn how to build an external string manager, which is extremely uh, useful if you have multiple copies of forms or even multiple databases that you have to support for different languages. This way you can just simply change one variable and the different language strings will be pulled into the database. Before this class, you should have taken all of my beginner, expert, and advanced classes and up to Access Developer 11. The uh, the universal dialog box that we're working on was started, I believe, in level 9, so uh, with the test taker database. So make sure that you're up to speed with those before you start this class. If you're just looking for the stuff on the custom form positioning or the external string manager, you, you should be able to follow along okay with just those lessons. But if you want to go and work on the universal dialog box, then I suggest you get the lessons that started it. If you've never taken any of my classes before, they're broken down into different groups. There's beginner. Expert, Advanced, and Developer. You're currently in Developer Level 12, which is the latest lesson. My lessons really are designed to be followed one after the other in order. So if you seem a little bit lost about something that you're not sure about, well, I probably covered it in the previous lesson. So make sure you take these classes in order. The sample databases for the class, there's a couple of them today. Uh, you can find them at this page, 599cd.com slash databases. You will need your class password in order to open that up. Now, as far as versions used go, Microsoft has kind of changed the way they do versioning now. Um, if you have an Office 365 subscription like I do, then every couple of months, Access pushes new features and new, new bug fixes and stuff directly to your computer. So the version numbers now are basically for people who don't have a subscription if you go ahead and just buy the class, or the class, if you just go ahead and buy the software um, as like a one-off purchase instead of getting a, a monthly subscription, then at whatever point the subscription users are at at that moment when Microsoft decides to say, okay, this is now Access 2019, then th you know that's how they do it. So for for 365 users like me and and most of of you that I've talked to. Um, that's the version that is used. I'm currently at the point where Microsoft has released Access 2019. So, but everything that I show in today's class should work all the way back to 2007, and um, and probably even 2003 and earlier. I don't think anything was really different back then. Yeah, this is, this should all work in the older versions too. But I'll I'll guarantee it back to 2007. Let's take a closer look now at what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're continuing work on the universal dialog box that we started back in Access Developer 11. In lesson two, we're going to study custom form positioning, how to set the height and width of a window, how to determine what it is first, and then how to manually set it to whatever size we want, and the coordinates, the positioning of the form on the screen, the top and left coordinates, and so we can position the window exactly where we want it and size it exactly how we want it. In lesson three, we're going back to work on our universal dialog box. We're going to learn about centering the form on the screen, how to control exactly where it appears on the screen, the upper left corner, the height and the width. We're going to learn how to resize the controls on the form, like the label width and such, based on the width of the form and the height of the form. And we'll learn how to move the buttons around. So as the form gets smaller or wider, those buttons will resize and move accordingly. In lesson four, we're going to build something different. We're going to build an external string manager. And this is handy if you have a database where you're supporting multiple uh, language speaking users where you don't want to have to maintain three or four different copies of your database or different forms for the different languages. You can just have one form or one database and pull in the different prompts and labels uh, from a table. That's what this lesson will cover.